Sometimes we have this attitude that discernment, trying to work out what's right and what's wrong, what's truly of God, is something that, are, that young people do. That when people have been Christians for a while, as perhaps many of us sitting in the church today, that we should know exactly what God wants for us. That things are sort of almost black and white. We know what's right and we should just, we just go ahead and we do it. However, our first reading today and the psalm are reminding us that we need to pray and we need to listen to God's plan for our lives all the time. That we need the guidance of God. Sometimes we come to prayer and we pray for people's needs. We might pray for the sick. We pray for those who've died. We pray for, for things in the world. And these are things that are important things to pray for. Sometimes we come to pray and we, we pray to give, to give praise to God. To, to give adoration. These are all important types of prayer. However, we should discern decisions, major decisions in our life in prayer. Whether we're young or whether we're a little bit more mature, we should be guided by the commands of God and we should pray about that. And this is the first reading today talks about this and the psalm especially is an essence of prayer trying to work out what is God's guidance for people in their life. David wrote this psalm looking for God's guidance and he takes delight and joy in the commands of God, being able to discover what is God's will for him. And we should do this in our prayer as well. We shouldn't just come to pray for all those other things, although those other things are important. But we should come and say, Lord, what am I meant to do in this situation? Sometimes it's easy. We know what's right and we know what's wrong. That's, those, those things are very easy. We should know we, should do the, we do the right thing. But sometimes it's very grey. We don't really know. And so we need to discern, work out what is God's will for each and every one of us in this specific situation. How are we meant to act? What are we meant to do? What is of God in this context? This is not just a young person's type of prayer. This is prayer for everyone. So if you haven't prayed like this for a while, to really consider, God, what is your will for this situation in my life? To spend some time reflecting and being open to what God, God's plan might be for you and your family at this time, then I encourage you today to maybe reconsider. It's not just a young person's place to discern, to say, I don't really know, and so we think about things. This is something for everyone. So let's pray today that we will be as our psalm said today, guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Train me to observe your law, to keep it with my heart. For there is my delight. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. Let's be people who don't just come to pray so that we can pray for specific needs, so that we can, um, even just so that we can, we can give glory to God, although that's very important. Let us pray for the guidance of God in the day-to-day -day activities and those big decisions of our life as well. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands.